All right, got another new knife here. Today should be a pretty quick one. This just came in from Blade Ops. They were running a sale. And something I've been pretty neat lately, which is, by the way, my trusty Demco always making these nice after it cuts in tight situations like that. <laughs> that is hilarious. I did not see that coming. Oh man. That is funny. So Blade Ops is running a sale on the Boker Mini Kalashnikov Auto Knife. It's an OS 8 blade, bead blasted. It is known for being a classic. Ooh, that's kind of disappointing. Open. Well, we're gonna have to have a conversation with Blade Ops about that one. They're great in general, but that was uh, that's a little surprising. Yeah, oh no is right. Um, so this is a classic. I've actually never watched a knife review on this. I normally do before buying a knife, but I've been intrigued lately about the idea of an auto and you know, I've never had one. Oh, that's funny. You can even see where someone opened it and their fingers touched it and everything. So this is definitely a, a conversation with Blade Ops. <laughs> Uh, funny catching that on video and stuff, so you can just see the whole situation there. That's smaller than I thought it would be. It looks bigger in the pictures, so it's kind of funny. But I've been wanting to try a button lock auto for a long time. Wow, that is fun. Um, so I figured why not go for a classic instead of dropping like $200 on a ProTech or something like that. Wow, that is snappy. That is much stronger than I expected it to be. Well, I definitely understand the craze on these. There's some serious satisfaction on that. I wonder if there's a good way of closing that one-handed. Probably not a super safe thing to do. Doesn't feel like... I'm sure a lot of people can do that really easily, but um, with practice, many things come. That is a super, super weird pocket clip. I guess that's supposed to align with these somehow, but doesn't. <laughs> uh, it's funny. You would think if you're going to do this, maybe there's some rhyme or reason behind that, but if you're going to do that, you'd have those directly line up with the, you know, these guys in here, but I guess not. Overall, it feels like a really nice, solid knife. I don't know what this finishes. Is this aluminum? Let's see. Get the blade out of there. Let's see if we're getting any. You got the hardware there. It's like a steel. And then the pocket clip is steel. But I think this might be like an aluminum or something. Again, no no research done on this one, but I'm pretty sure that's an aluminum frame. Could be, yeah, I think it's an aluminum frame. So this is definitely outside of my normal range, but they were running a sale for $29 shipped. That's pretty freaking hard to beat. So for an OS 8 knife auto, I'm really curious how that actually works. I'm sure there's some breakdown videos on this. Maybe I'll watch after. That's like a, you know, it's a two and a half inch little tiny blade, but a pretty compelling like opportunity to get another automatic and my first um, button lock automatic. The button seems really good. Let's see. Yeah, you have to push it a little too far, but it could be like maybe like 80% of what it is to release. That is snappy though. I thought maybe like out of the box, it might not be quite so snappy. Now, the one thing I'll say is that is a very sharp tip for what this is. And I could see that leading to, uh, you know, potential deployment and injury. Uh, per personally, like I'm, I don't gravitate towards a really pointy blade this I guess is like a 
a drop point, but it really thins out towards the tip this way. And uh, if that were to catch you while it's deploying, you know, somehow, you know, this is definitely an unsafe area when it's deploying because that is very pointy there. But I don't think you buy automatics because they're safety tools. They are fun, snappy, a little fidgety, and uh, this one is no different. Um, the case is hilarious. I think this is like cardboard. Yeah, it's like a cardboard case, but you know. You think about this for the price, and I don't know what these normally sell for. Maybe 40 bucks or 50 bucks at the most. 45 I think is kind of a standard price for this. I'd have to go look around again. It's... You're getting the knife, the case. I don't know if there's anything in there. Let's see. Any instructions or anything in there? Probably not. I don't think this will come out. It does come out. No, no instructions in there or anything. Or cleaning towel or anything like that. But that is really... that. That's what's shocking me the most. I thought it was going to be kind of, especially as a small knife, kind of wimpy. That is snappy, so that's fun. Um, feel in hand, pretty good. I mean, you know this is a two and a half inch knife and it's gonna be a three finger kind of deal, but you know, you get up into a, uh, you know, it's not very different than like the Revanter size wise. Let's take a look at some sizing here. Uh, or the, uh, like, and it's a little smaller there. I was thinking the mini bug out also. Yeah, it's definitely a very small knife, right? Two and a half inch blade versus a three inch. Um, you know, maybe you uh, compare it more to a, uh, a tough light from cold steel. Um, anything else I have that's similar to this? Not really. All right, just like, the uh, Ontario Rat 2. Quite a bit bigger. So it's a small knife for sure. It looks bigger on camera. In person, it is really tiny. You can tell, again, four inch hand from side to side. So it's definitely short of the hand. <coughs> Feels small in hand. There's no real safe choke up point. Eh. It, what's actually kind of nice if you were to choke up is on the choil, it's not sharp here. So you could choke up on it a little if you had to, but you know, then you're pretty quick into the blade there. So you really wouldn't want to, you'd want to be careful if you're doing that, but technically you could choke up into there a little bit if you had to, but I think it's pretty well. I mean, you can even see the way that the fingers are designed here. It's, it's designed to be like that. You know, this might be something I give to my wife. Um, she might, she might like this as, you know, I don't know if it's more of a self-defense knife being an automatic or something, but I could see her kind of thinking, aside from the fact that it's a little rugged looking. Um, her birthday's coming up. She wouldn't appreciate this. She'd think this was a Homer ball if you've ever seen the Simpsons episode where Homer gets Marge a bowling ball, uh, that says Homer on it because he wants the bowling ball. And then <laughs> she's a big Simpsons fan. Um, and then uh, she's to spite him, starts bowling. Um, yeah, this could be a Homer ball potentially. We'll see what she thinks of that. Just to see if I can really get in trouble because, you know, I love sleeping in a doghouse. Um, so curious a little bit. Nice light on the pocket clip, it'd be a little hard to get in the pants because you got this like uh, molded grip. So that happens like right before this. So it, it kind of narrows the path in there. So if I were to design this knife, I'd either move that up or just remove this first one so that the pocket clip could be more effective. Um, yeah, it's a funky pocket clip. 
nice recessed screw behind it and it does come in behind so it looks like it's an ambidextrous pocket clip which is cool it looks like you can swap it uh, maybe i'm wrong on that hang on I'm trying to look at it through the video i guess i think i'm wrong let me pull it out here real quick um not ambidextrous because it looks like there's a little carve out for it I have to double check, but it looks like it may not be ambidextrous. Like there's a carve out on one side, which I guess would make sense. You know, I don't know that autos are intended to be ambi knives, but you can deploy it fine. Lefty, with just a finger deployment instead of a thumb deployment. So I don't know. Um, yeah, fit and finish seems really good. Let's see the lockup. There's a little bit of play, a little bit of play on the lockup. I don't know if that could be fixed by tightening it down. Um, what else? Is it centered? Not well centered. Not well centered. It is off to the um, clip side. So that's not good. I may swap this out with them, which is unfortunate for them because it's such a good deal shipped. But, you know, they sent me one that had been opened and... Maybe it got returned because it was not centered or something. I don't know. Um, but I'll talk with Blade Ops and see. Uh, what else? The, you know, it's, there's always like a trade-off. Auto out is easier, but then it's harder to try and like one-hand it in. There's not like a great way to one-hand it in. Actually, someone's going to probably send a video or like a make a comment about a great way to do it and I'm sure it's not what I'm doing right now because all it feels like is I'm pulling blade towards hand but that's the trade-off is easy out hard in um, but it's doable especially with the size so if you had to one hand it you could um, it feels like it could it'd be very easy on the carry like a little those bumps might not be super comfortable, um, like against your leg would be the only thing, but generally seems like it'd be pretty good. Um, yeah, good, good first impression on this one. I think I'm going to keep this one fairly short, uh, have a convo with Blade Ops, but generally what I expected, it's actually better. Yeah, better than I expected in general. So, um, yeah, for 30 bucks. I think I've actually, this has been very comparable. This is like 30 bucks as well. They did a pretty darn good job, just like the Rat 2 is a pretty darn good knife for 30 bucks. I mean, this is actually, let's call it more like 45. It feels like the value is there and stuff. So I'd give it a pretty good score. I'll, I'll throw a, a pocket priority score on the, uh, on the video there. Um, and I got to say, that's pretty fun. That was a, a fun thing to see when I opened it up. Uh, so, yeah, that's a fun, fun one. Not in my normal range of what I like to buy, but I've been wanting to mess around a little bit with the, uh, um, automatic and I figured, hey, let's at least, you know, buy something reasonable before going all out and buying, you know, a ProTech, UltraTech or something along those lines. So I'll, uh, do a little more research on some options and try and get some others on the show. Uh, so thank you for stopping by. Please like and subscribe and take a look at the score down in the uh, description and we will see you on the next one. Take care.